This is Mrs. A. Today I'm going to read you a middle school short story, but it's about kindergarten, so I hope you like it. It's called Charles by Shirley Jackson. The day my son Lori started kindergarten, he gave up his little boy clothes. He started wearing blue jeans with a belt. I watched him go off that first morning with the older girl next door. He looked as though he were going off to a fight. He came home that same way at lunchtime. Isn't anybody here, he yelled. At the table, he knocked over his little sister's milk. How was school today, I asked. Did you learn anything? I didn't learn nothing, he said. Anything, I said. Didn't learn anything. But the teacher spanked a boy, Lori said, for being fresh. What did he do, I asked. Who was it? Lori thought. It was Charles, he said. The teacher spanked him and made him stand in the corner. He was really fresh. What did he do, I asked. But Lori slid off his chair, took a cookie, and left. The next day, Lori sat down for lunch. Well, he said, Charles was bad again today. He grinned. Today, Charles hit the teacher. Good heavens, I said. I suppose he got spanked again. He sure did, Lori said. Why did Charles hit the teacher, I asked. Because she tried to make him color with red crayons. Charles wanted to color with green crayons. So he hit the teacher. She spanked him and said nobody play with Charles. But everybody did. The third day, Charles bounced it. a seesaw onto the head of a little girl. He made her bleed. The teacher made him stay inside during recess. On Thursday, Charles had to stand in the corner. He was pounding his feet on the floor during story time. Friday, Charles could not use the blackboard because he threw chalk. On Saturday, I talked to my husband about it. Do you think kindergarten is too disturbing for Lori? I asked him. This Charles boy sounds like a bad influence. It will be all right, my husband said. There are bound to be people like Charles in the world. He might as well meet them now or later. On Monday, Charles came home late. Char Charles, he shouted as he ran up to the house. Charles was bad again. I let him in and helped him take off his coat. You know what Charles did, he said. Charles yelled so much that the teacher came in from first grade. She said our teacher had to keep Charles quiet, and so Charles had to stay after school, and so all the children stayed to watch him. What did he do, I asked. He just sat there, Lori said, noticing his father. Hi, Pop, you old dust mop. What does this Charlie look, Charles look like, my husband asked. What's his last name? He's bigger than me, Lori said, and he doesn't wear a jacket. I could hardly wait for the first parent-teacher's meeting. I wanted very much to meet Charles' mother. The meeting was still a week away. On Tuesday, Lori said, our teacher had a friend come to see her in school today. My husband and I said together, was it Charles' mother? Nah, Lori said. Charles was fresh to the teacher's friend. They wouldn't let him do exercises. Fresh again, I said. He kicked the teacher's friend, Lori said. The teacher's friend told Charles to touch his toes, and Charles kicked him. Do you think they'll, what do you think they'll do about Charles, my husband asked. I don't know, Lori said. Throw him out of school, I guess. Wednesday and Thursday were routine. Charles yelled during story time. He hit a boy in the stomach and made him cry. On Friday, Charles stayed after school again. All the other children stayed to watch him. On Monday of the third week, Lori came home with another report. Do you know what Charles did today, he said. He told a girl to say a word, and she said it. The teacher washed her mouth out with soap, and Charles laughed. What word, his father asked. It's so bad, I'll have to whisper it to you, Lori said. He whispered into my husband's ear. Charles told the little girl to say that, he said, his eyes widening. She said it twice, Lori said. Charles told her to say it twice. What happened to Charles, my husband asked. Nothing, Lori said. He was passing out the crayons. The next day, Charles said the evil word himself three or four times. He got his mouth washed out with soap each time. He also threw chalk. My husband came to the door that night as I was leaving for the parent-teacher's meeting. Invite her over after the meeting, he said. I want to get a look at the mother of that kid. I hope she's there, I said. She'll be there, my husband said. How could they hold a parent-teacher's meeting without Charles's mother? At the meeting, I looked over the faces of all the other mothers. None of them looked unhappy enough to be the mother of Charles. No one stood up and apologized for the way her son had been acting. No one mentioned Charles. After the meeting, I found Lori's teacher. I've been wanting to meet you, I said. I'm Lori's mother. Oh, yes, she said. 
were all so interested in Lori. He certainly likes kindergarten, I said. He talks about it all the time. He's had some trouble getting used to school, she said, but I think he'll be all right. Lori usually fits in quickly, I said. I suppose his trouble might be from Charles's influence. Charles, the teacher said. Yes, I said, laughing. You must have your hands full of Charles. Charles, she said. We don't have any Charles in kindergarten. Well, I hope you like the story, and I miss you, and I will see you hopefully soon in the fall. Um, and uh, hopefully get to read to you again. Bye.